Ehrlich, and this was not the proof of life the world wanted. Kate Middleton on every tabloid cover today after this photo was released, but quickly pulled from circulation. The Associated Press making the very rare call to kill this photo's distribution after its authenticity was called into question. The Princess of Wales releasing a statement today apologizing for the edit, taking the fall as an amateur, calling the picture a failed experiment in Photoshop. So let's bring in senior story editor Paula Froelich. Uh, Paula, I have so many questions here. First of all, why oh, is Kate bring. Middleton allegedly apparently Photoshopping? Did this all just make this whole situation worse? Girl, I'll tell you why she's doing it. First of all, she's stuck on bed rest, all right? She had that abdominal surgery in January, and they've said several times she's not coming back till after Easter, which is in April. And people keep going, well, where is she? Did she get a BBL, Brazilian butt lift? You know I can't stop saying that. And they're all like, no, no. So she's doing these proof of life things, but of course she's messing around on, on Photoshop right now. She bored. She can't do anything. She's in that chair because she can't stand up straight because she had abdominal surgery. So I bet she was just like, bloop, bloop, bloop. Ooh, I don't like my daughter's thumb. Let's get rid of it. Oops, let's get rid of my ring. You know, I, know, I mean, it, I don't know. It was just I mean, a bad really, idea. She's really lying in bed, you know, working on photoshopping photos when there's a whole team of, of I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, okay, by the way, you are right to be skeptical yes. because, yes, you are correct. There is an entire PR team, not just one person, not just five. We're talking ten, and they all let this slip through the cracks, which Absolutely. is crazy balls. All right, so so but, we know that the princess has been out of the spotlight mm -hmm. for months at this point. Paula, you, yep. you, you talked about, we know she had surgery, this abdominal mm -hmm. surgery. People are speculating it was really something else. We, we really don't know a lot. Is it time for the royal family to be more transparent? Honestly, um, I think it is, but at the same time, from what I have heard of the surgery, it is extremely private. Yeah. And as is Charles's unnamed cancer, of which they haven't said what stage it is, what kind, you know, what the treatment is, but he is starting to do his succession plans. So right. there we go. Well, I, I think it say, all yeah. just adds fuel. And, it, you, you know, know, again, yeah, as somebody who is going through her own health crisis right now, I mm -hmm. absolutely understand why some people would choose to, to keep mm -hmm. it private. Absolutely, they're right. It is really no one else's business. However, is the handling mm -hmm. of this situation, you know, these pictures released, they're photoshopped, they're pulled back, is it potentially compromising the royal family's credibility? Does that even matter at this point? Yes. Yes, it does. And also, by the way, they already gave a proof of life. When all the rumors were like a swirling and you know it got into a tempest, that she went into a car with her mom and drove around Windsor with a strategically placed photographer, and there was the proof of life. And then again today, after this photo, she was forced to get into another car and have her husband drive her around so that people could see, look, she's alive. It's okay. okay. It's just... It's a little bit silly. It is. Okay, so here's the thing, and, and this is tough because mm -hmm. we're talking about members of the royal family. So obviously they mm -hmm. are in the spotlight. They've always been in the spotlight. It kind of just comes with being part of the royal family. But is this a case of, I mean, do we as, as the general public just need to mind our business? I don't, I don't know the answer here. No, absolutely not. Their business is to be in the public eye. I mean, literally, the royal family, the monarchy, is doesn't really have a role in England anymore except to basically be PR for the country. And all they do, their entire job is to go out, shake hands, cut ribbons, and go to events. Mm -hmm. So their entire living is made off of the public eye. So, yeah, I don't think that once they don't want to be in it, they're like, oh, give me a minute. Listen, you open that door, you can't shut it, you yeah. know? Yeah, all you right. make your living off of opening doors, done. All right, so we talked about Easter, and I believe this mm -hmm. year we have a March Easter. I think it's actually the very last day of the month. I'm just checking my calendar. March 31st. Here. March 31st is Easter. Mm -hmm. Do you think that is the debut? That is when we will see Princess Kate uh, with Williams, with the family, and then and, and that's when we will see everything back the way it should be? I think the palace schedulers would like that, but do I think that's actually going to happen? No, they've said several times after 
Easter. Mm. Now, will they want to give a photo of an Easter egg roll or some sort of thing on the palace grounds that isn't photoshopped? Yes, and it would be a nice idea. All right, we will see what Just happens. Just don't let Kate get a hold of that Photoshop. Right, you know. exactly. Kate, stay away from the computer. Uh, all right, Paula, exactly. thank you so much, and we will be right back. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.